exploring nature, history, roaming through these ancient lands here in Ocala National Forest. Many areas to hike, go off the beaten path, and today, hiking through some of these forest roads deep into the wilderness here. And for hundreds and thousands of years, Native American Indians traveled through, hunted in these areas, established villages. It was a very active place, especially further into the swamps throughout the area by the waterways. There's a lot of resources here, various tribes that thrived here for generations. We must forge forward. The adventure awaits. So peaceful out here in the woods. And exploring these forest roads and off trails for quite a ways now. And going northward, currently looking for a good area to cut into the woods here off this trail. starting to get more dense as they get further into this area. out here deep in the woods this is incredible came across this ancient site now there's a Native American Indian mound here you can see the formation how it slopes upward into the woods here and it's a large site part of a complex that was out here at one time yeah, the area was inhabited for hundreds and thousands of years there's lots of shells deposited around the area which helped form the mound. Now natives traveled through here utilizing these areas for various purposes, hunting and gathering, places of occupation. Let's take a look around. Lots of petrified shells here on this area on the mound incredible these are ancient it took a very long time to form the tribes that inhabited these areas would have built these mounds up and village sites all around these areas imagine how active this place once was a quiet place here in the forest the mound continues upward here Climbing down towards the bottom of this mound, it's steeper on this side, and it's a very unique area out here in the middle of the swamps. The surrounding wilderness is completely flat, and you look over here, 
And this mound just rises up out of the floodplain here. It would have been a place of higher ground for the natives. Definitely a great vantage point here near the top of this mound. There's a large tree here and the area just opens up here. You can see the surrounding forest and just over here through the swamps is a river. So I imagine at one time this area looked a lot different. It's more cleared out and you could see possibly the waterway here nearby and the surrounding woods. So it would have been a great observation point. near the top of this mound and this is a really neat area because this section you can get a good view of the surrounding forest from the top here and this would have been a great location for the natives that were in these areas for all these years they could observe the forest right here right on the edge of the mound Navigating along the mound, tracing the perimeter of the area. And as the mound slopes upwards, there appears to be layers in the mound, almost like terraces. And towards the top, it begins to level out, almost like a platform. This mound is much larger at one time, that's for sure. This is really interesting, standing at the bottom of the mound. And here's the edge of it. See all these shells deposited here. 